Well, it's all typical. A weekly race review, a weekly race where Truex either uh, blows up, pit crew mistake, um, something happens out of his control, or he just fumbles the bag. And this week, he decides to fumble the bag at the, the worst part of the race. And it's just typical. Bristol wasn't really even much of a Bristol race. Uh, Larson dominated. It was like one notch better than the, the fall of 22, where that one was like almost unraceable. There was like some passing, but not like a lot. <laughs> it's like maybe a two and a half out of a ten. I mean, it really was just so fucking miserable to watch. And as soon as Truex got that penalty, he was like, oh, it's over because people can't pass. Or nobody can really go up through the field except Larson. We only had one green flag pass for the lead. No, I'm not going to give that a 10 out of 10 because of that. And it was just kind of just miserable. And I want to just take everything out of my room. All, all, all my NASCAR shit. I, I don't want I don't want to be reminded of it. It's just so pathetic. Trex couldn't just do the bare minimum. Like it's just so it's just so embarrassing. I have no words. I have no. I have. I have. I don't even know what to say. It's just typical. I just expected something to go wrong. He ran the first two stages extraordinarily well. Shit made a three wide pass to get second to get more points. I mean, I couldn't. It was just amazing. Also, I can't talk because I got a fucking sore in my mouth again. So my body is falling the fuck apart. I don't even know if I can fucking show it. I, I don't even... I, I have to take a fucking picture. Actually, I have a picture on my phone. I'll, I'll have to do that in fucking editing. Because it's, it's terrible. I can't talk. My body just literally... is just dying at the sight of Shrek's running so fucking bad. And then Bristol Rice just missed her to watch. Because as soon as I saw that happen... I was like, yeah, it's over. It's over. He, uh, he's not going to make up those spots. Truex went from running second to third. He was running from like second to fifth, really, like the whole damn race prior to that point. And then he just gets laughed because track position not only is important, but is so overwhelmingly important that you can't do a fucking thing if you're trapped back in the pack. It's just pathetic. Like that, like there's just no hope. But not even like of, oh, well, you know, it's like, oh, he made up 10 spots over the course of 200 laps. You know? No, it's like fucking nothing it was pathetic so as typical as i kind of foresaw this race was not gonna be like the spring race in fact the spring race and then the fall were so radically different in terms of lead lap i think it's like the biggest margin or like the biggest gap from like 46 to to eight i don't even know where they get the eight i guess all of it happened on pit road i have no idea but yeah pit road was the highlight of the race that was probably the most interesting aspect of it, which is sad because I really don't think pit road should be like the most fast, fantastical part of a race, but it was because that's just what these cars are. But yeah, um, as I kind of feared, they were going to overcorrect what the spring race was, which it took a miraculous fluke of the tires being bad for the car to do anything of note there. So that's what it took. And now when everything's kind of semi-normal, then nothing happens. And no, reconfiguring it back to the, the pre-2006 Bristol wouldn't change a thing because the cars can't get close to each other, so it would actually be even worse. So, the PJ1, they can, you know, put in like 30 gallons of PJ1 on the bottom of the track. It's not going to do anything because it kind of falls apart by the time second stage rolls in. So, whatever. I'm just like, I'm just at the point now where I could just like breathe and be like, yeah, this shit's fucking over. I don't have to even give a fuck of watching the race. I mean, I'll probably still hear and find something because Twitter, but, or my group chat, but like, I don't feel like I have a need to watch. In fact, I want to take all this shit out. I already said that. I want to just take all this shit out of my fucking room and ask for stuff. I mean, I'm like embarrassed. I have more pride of my, of the figures I fucking have. Not that I even have the ones I got in the fan mail and stuff. Because at least that doesn't make me think of misery. So, yeah, that'll be fun to do at some point when I have time, whenever I have time. Um, it's, it's hard to kind of feel good about anything because life's fucking miserable, and apparently that's just the theme. There's a whole story, there's a whole, like, three hours of tangents I can go on when I do a live stream if people even want to listen to that whenever I have the fucking time or when I feel better because I can't talk for three hours because it's fucking sore in my mouth. That's, like, just, I don't even know how big it is. It might be, like, a quarter of an inch. I have no idea. 
it feels like an inch, but it's probably less than that. But I had to get my ruler out. But yeah, so it's just typical. Just another week of just nonsense, misery. Her directs just can't do the bare fucking minimum. And that's my race review of that. There's nothing more really to say. I'm not going to go on a 30-minute spiel. It's just, it's just depressing. That's all it fucking is. It's just depressing. People will be like, oh, well, Harvick, it, you know, I guess, you know. But Harvick didn't have eight consecutive weeks or nine, ten consecutive weeks of running like 20th or worse. That didn't happen. I don't even have, you know, instant memory of that. But I can just look it up on Racing Reference just to confirm it because, you know. Sometimes I say shit, and then sometimes it's wrong when I make a tweet, and then, you know, it's wrong. So, I'll have to go find that, and, and uh, you know, extra super duper confirm that. Even though I feel like there was no nine weeks, ten weeks stretch of him running 20th or worse. In fact, it's only, I've only seen two in a row. Oh, three in a row. Oh, that's cute. Hard fans only had a week, three weeks in a row. How about nine or ten? So, I only see three. And there's two. Okay, then of sub twentieth. Okay, it's only tw three times. Oh, oh, the Harvey. Har oh no, the the travesty. This is it's just miserable. It's so fucking sad. And this track is such shit too now. So like, we didn't get a, you know an overtime finish, but we just kind of had a boring mid race below mid race where not much happened. Very forgettable race, and then they're throwing up stats of Larson being comparable to. Kill Yarbrough because he let a bunch of like, wait wait until Larson gets three in a row, which is never gonna happen in this modern broken ass format. So that's that's never gonna happen. So, so shut the fuck up about you kill Yarbrough. Stop. So I don't know. I'm just annoyed. Um, maybe these canker sores can go away when I feel better, or something. Because this I just can't take it anymore. And it's such a shame. The pit crew actually did their shit. Like every everybody did their part. The car was actually good. And, well, I'd say it's frustrating because, like, Truex actually is fast, but it feels like every goddamn week. But then something goes wrong. And it's so bullshit. And I don't even have anything to excuse it. There's nothing to excuse it. It's just, just Truex. I don't, losing his brain cells, getting, I don't understand, man. It's just so fucking sad. So, I don't know. Well, either way, enjoy your championship or probably Chris Rebell's going to win, even though he probably doesn't deserve it. But, you know. Three times out of eight, somebody wins it that wasn't the best all year. So who cares anymore? Who fucking cares? I guess I do. I don't know. I have no fucking idea. I guess there's irony in any video I make. So I guess there's some, you know, ha ha ha, lamau element to it. I don't know. I'm done. I got nothing. Uh, enjoy next week. Kansas will be a banger. Too bad. I probably, well, should, I mean, it's Kansas. I'll, I mean, maybe I'll fucking watch stage three. <laughs> if I even can see it. I don't know. <sighs> Kansas and Bristol are like the only two good races I can think of. Maybe Spring Darlington. But three great races doesn't save an entire fucking season. It's, this, is, this has been the theme. It's just like, you know, maybe we'll get three to five good races and the other 30 are just like forgettable or horrible. So like, I, it's just exhausting. Even the races when I was growing up, Watching them, rewatching them. It's not like, it's not like I'm watching the whole season being fucking miserable. Because you know, for the most part, 25, 26 races of the year are usually like pretty damn good. Not everyone's a banger, but like for the most part, they're 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 pretty good. Now it's just like, for like the past, like what feels like 10 years, it's just like well. You may get five really, really good races, but that that's like it. I can't think of anything beyond that. It's just, whatever, who cares? I, I just, it's exhausting. This is like the video diary of like a manic Truex fan that's lost all hope in, in reality. So that's a fun thing to look through. I don't know. I got to nine minutes. I can pump in more ads I want to. I wasn't even thinking about that, but whatever. There you go. Um... Can't wait for Larson to break Truex's stage win record because Larson's going to surpass that probably by the end of this year, early next year. So Truex won't even be able to have that part of his moniker for very long. So that's fun. And also, I'm sure Briscoe's going to get in that car and just do fucking amazing. And then I'm going to have to sit here and be like, yep, even when I'm not watching, I, I'm still going to have to be pissed about that because Briscoe's just going to, you know, do better. And everybody's going to, oh, Truex washed, old man. It's like he's, I guess this week, yes. 
So I guess four out of the ten, four out of the nine have been his fault, but that doesn't excuse the other five where it's just like mechanical failures or gets involved in wrecks that have nothing of his own doing. I don't know, man. That's just so fucking sad. So fucking sad. I'm done. There you go. Another miserable race to add to this 99%. What's the fucking percentage of 29 races divided by 2? What's the percentage of that? I don't know. There's your percentage of good races. Do the math. Have fun. I'm, I'm out.